Hello, my name is Sarah Tess. Welcome to my collective readings today. I am super excited to do some collective readings. I'm feeling very connected to spirit. Um, I am going through some things right now. I have a family member that is about to die. So I am feeling extra connected to spirit and emotions. So if I get emotional during these readings today, I'm just, my heart is really open right now and I feel very connected to intuition and to spirit. Um, so that being said, I'm not going to apologize for my emotions. I'm not going to apologize if I cry because we need to validate who we are as a human being. And especially if we are spiritual beings that we are, if you're watching this, you're into tarot, you're into Oracle, you're definitely connected to someone of the higher. And maybe that's your own intuition. Maybe that is ancestors. Maybe that is spirit guides, God, goddesses, whoever. But if you're here today, you're here for a reason. And I appreciate you. And I'm super, super grateful that you're here. So please just be patient with me as I do these readings. I did write down a bunch of messages from spirit. So let's go ahead and dig in. I have seen 111. I've been seeing 112 and I have seen 1221. 121, I just saw that too. So we're definitely connecting into new beginnings. Um, it's also December right now, so 12. Um, we're connecting to the end of the year. And actually last night I had a friend of mine reach out to me and ask if I wanted to come over and do vision boards and all morning I've been sitting here staring at a vision board that I did about six months ago I do them every six months just for a little like upkeep of my life and a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to do it to kind of prepare for the new year and I was like oh my gosh yes like I definitely need this in my life and right now with 1221 and with December in this zone I feel like we're definitely feeling the immense feelings of death and rebirth or death of situations it's also winter fall time so things are falling degrading like you know they're being prepared for a new and so i feel like this is a time that everyone is feeling right now whether it's physically two to two in nature or if it's more around people that you're around or this could just be situations in your life where you're having tower moments and things are falling so that things can grow and expand in different and new ways for you so let's just go ahead and lay the foundation here today's readings are all about groundedness connection to the heart center connected to the throats the throat chakra and connecting to higher source and higher spirit and higher ancestors in your own lineage so i am living in new york now so if you are hearing noises around i am right next to a busy street so just go with it i've been hearing um drumming for like the past 10 minutes and it made me cry <laughs> because it made me think of the little drummer boy and that song if you are not familiar with it go listen to it it's a very special song and it just made me feel like there was a parade coming. The drummer boy was coming down the street, drumming, like getting prepared for a new time in life. It was just da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, knowing that there's some gate that is opening up in this person's life, in this experience, um, in this soul body experience, right? So in this time, I feel like we're dealing with new life. We're dealing with death and rebirth new beginnings, balance, and I feel like this is a time to kind of cultivate a peaceful state and know that you are protected and that your loved ones are protected and that everybody is safe no matter what we're experiencing. And as long as you feel like you are comfort comforted in your home, in your soul, in your body of a temple, everything will be okay. No matter where you're going in this life, you are welcome and if you are having to transition into new spaces, whether this is a new location for you or whether this is someone transitioning into a soul experience and transitioning to a new place in their personal life and their journey, know that they are being welcomed, they are being invited, they are, set, it's like someone is saying, come, come here, come here. We're welcoming you. We want to reunite with you. And this could even be reuniting with people that you don't even know, but like physically, but you might know in a soul form. I know for me personally, I've been meeting a lot of people in the past week that it feels like I'm connecting to them at a soul point, like I've known them before. So maybe you're experiencing that same experience too, where you're like, wow, this feels very much like 
soul touching and I feel like like we're connecting very deeply in a weird way that it feels like almost fast like you've you've been in that relationship or friendship or connection before so yeah let me just go ahead and give you my rest of my little messages today and we'll get started so i did bring in a bunch of little trinkets for myself i may pull some trinkets for certain zodiacs um i brought in this little baby i love it um i flipped it over and i told myself as soon as the sand runs out i was ready to do a reading and at that point i started hearing more messages i was listening to songs and i was preparing i was kind of meditating into the space i just saw an orb and my hearing feels funny so we're definitely connecting to spirit higher source and it was a white orb so very cleansing like yeah aura cleansing beautiful like uplifting we had this little mushroom that was made from wood makes me feel about feel grounded in this space we also have this rose quartz which opens up the heart chakra and opens up space for love and compassion we have this trinket um fool's gold which makes me think about lineage legacy um i don't know if i oh, oh my gosh things are falling i don't know if i showed i'm on a different um Uh, tripod than normal so sorry um I brought in I actually never ever ever wear perfume but this week I felt connected to a rose perfume so I bought it so I have this over here as well I sprayed it before I did this reading um normally I spray aura, aura cleansing spray but today I sprayed my rose it just felt right so yes and then I also have this is gonna make a sound I have this little bell that my grandma used to own and it's very beautiful it's it's the one thing that i'm like super connected to um and i just feel like you know comfort in my soul with it actually let's go ahead and just ring it for a second <sighs> yeah very cleansing beautiful okay so I do have some little trinkets here. I have a variety of cards that I'm going to be working with today. I have some cards that I've written. I have some oracle cards. I have some message cards. I have tarot and I have, I'm also bringing out, I don't know if it's because I'm feeling like the experience of life and death right now, but I'm bringing out more of like the shadowy cards. I have, um, what's it called? Mystic Martian Oracle deck, and I also have my Halloween Oracle, and I have brought out my Halloween Tarot. I know it's not Halloween anymore, but I'm feeling connected to those. I'm also wearing this sweater that <laughs> um, was my grandmother's, and it's very comforting and cozy, so I feel like we're all just connecting to ancestors and comforts right now. And I wanted to say Southern comfort comforts right now, so maybe you're in the South. But I do have these little, like, weird trinkets um they are actually stamps but i use them for my readings they are random symbols that i like some are christmasy some are halloweeny some are just kind of witchy and weird so i feel like we can use all of that in any event and i have some crystals that will tap into as well but let's go ahead and just dig in i know these spirit messages are long um so if I didn't say earlier, my name is Sarah Tess. Welcome to this reading. Um, these are collective messages, so they may or may not fit, but I hope that they do for you today or that they fit for someone that you're around. Okay, so spirit messages. We have, the first thing I heard was Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger. So you might be dealing with a Leo or you are a Leo. Uh, you might be dealing with your solar plexus yellow the bright yellow willpower like going towards your dreams and doing new things okay we also have nature meets nurture nurture i don't know why i almost said that nature meets nurture and i was staring up at my um vision board and it's lots of greenery so maybe you're really feeling connected to nature or you're trying to connect more to nature and i know if you are in the same location as me i'm in new york that it is winter time and so plants are kind of dying but i have plants in my apartment right now that are also having a hard time with this switch of weather season change they're they're wanting to break down and they're wanting to shed their layers but 
at the same time they're needing light and they want light 1001 we want balance and it's sometimes hard to experience that balance and you feel disconnected sometimes 1010 so anyways yes I have how does one connect with spirit or ancestors for me right now I'm definitely connecting through trinkets so maybe that's something that would benefit you I have sweaters and earrings and I'm actually wearing my grandfather's watch I totally forgot I was wearing this it almost like fit like a skin so I'm wearing my grandfather's watch right now and I just feel really connected to items and it's not because I have an attachment to them specifically it's just because they're comfortable they feel right right and it's okay to have healthy attachments um I know people are always like let go disconnect <laughs> like don't have attachments but I really do think that it is okay it is encouraged to have attachments to certain things that are valuable to you okay let the rain wash over me I was feeling that today it is raining today I feel like this is a time where it is okay to 11 11 have rain release and that also symbolizes your own rain. So your water, allow your eyes to cry if you need to cry, allow your emotions to be experienced and don't try to cover it up with an umbrella and pretend like it's not happening. Okay. I also have don't hate me because I'm beautiful. So <laughs> I don't know what that is, but don't hate me cause I'm beautiful, mm -mm, right? So like maybe you do feel like you are beautiful and you feel like you are comforting yourself and that you're having that time for self-care and you really appreciate who you are as a human being. And maybe you're scared to like show that you are comfortable in this space because of fear of how people will judge you or if they'll think that you're egotistical or whatever. But whatever you're feeling, whoever you are, whatever you're experiencing right now, if you do love yourself and if you do find yourself beautiful, that's okay it's okay to love yourself. It's okay to feel comfortable in your skin. It's okay to feel confident, right? And what people perceive of you is not really your problem. I mean, don't be cocky and don't be a jerk, but 1221, but you can embody who you are and fully live in that space and be in a humble space at the same time. It's not black and white, right? Okay. Connect with darkness and with shadows. I love darkness and I love shadows and I think that they can teach us a lot. It really connects with uh, death and rebirth in that space. Don't let fear steer you away. I heard don't let fear steer your ship. So if fear is kind of guiding you right now, tr you don't have to be fearless, but be aware of the fear and then let your love and your heart shine through to open up the space of the fear that the fear is kind of closing you in, okay? And I was sitting here looking out my window and my, my blinds are actually closed and I have this tiny little peekaboo spot that I can look out and I was thinking about that comfort, right? Where fear kind of cocoons you in and it holds you soft and comfortable, but then you're kind of peeping out because you want to see a little bit more or you want to go out of your comfort zone, but you're wanting those comforts and it's just sometimes hard to open up that space to go forth into a new direction, 1331, okay? Where is it? Yeah, so in that space, I was feeling like you're inside your mother's womb of comfort right now. And you know that you love that comfort and you have all those comforts. And actually it's so funny because I brought all these comfortable things out that I have a bit of attachments to, like that just make me happy, that make me feel better. And I was sitting here thinking like, oh, what a comfortable day. Like I'm feeling all these things, I'm feeling all these emotions and these comforts are just here nourishing me nurture meet or nature meets nurture your comforts your ancestors your spirit guides can nurture you you can nurture you i wrote down plants want the sun but there is no sun right now so maybe plant is a symbolism for you maybe you're feeling a little bit in the dark doomy gloomy moody space right now and you want the sun but there is no sun right now 1441 but know that things will balance out and that eventually the sun will show up again so if you're really in your dark energy right now and you're feeling all the ugh feels 
know that the the sunshine, the light will shine upon you again and you don't have to worry about that. You just sometimes have to move through the space and acknowledge how you're feeling. And that light will really brighten you back up. It'll be okay. It might take a moment to wake up or to restart that engine, but don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself when you are in your darkest, doomy, gloomy space. Acknowledge who you are, give yourself validation for how you're feeling, give yourself love and compassion, and don't judge yourself for how you are in this moment, in this time. I was hearing, in the morning I wake up, before I put on my makeup. I don't know how the song goes. <laughs> Say a little prayer for you. I can like hear it in my head, but I can't sing it. Like it, it's a weird disconnection there. So maybe you feel like in the morning you wake up and you instantly start thinking about someone or something, or maybe this is someone thinking about you and they're praying for you and maybe you're praying for someone else. That honk was a horn. I mean, that honk was a sign right? Someone is thinking about you or you are thinking about someone and those prayers are being heard in both directions. That energy is being sent in both directions and they can feel it without you even saying it. It's a spiritual connection, energetically. There is a sliver of light peeking out, a sliver of goodness, a sliver of yumminess that is headed towards you and whoever you are thinking about right now. Peace is coming. I feel like your faith is really strong right now and that you are in a place of rejoicing in the faith that you have within this life, within yourself, within a higher source. I feel like you are connected to hallelujah. You are singing hallelujah. You are connected to your spirit guides and you feel completely at home in your soul. Yeah. You are enough. I hope that you know that. I also feel like there needs to be a connection with selenite right now. I've been um, carrying it in my pocket. So maybe you need to go get some selenite. I don't know how to spell it, but it's this beautiful crystal. <laughs> okay, 